God calls things that were not as though they were. You understand me? And he said that as the Father Jesus said, that sent me, so send I you. You and I have been given that same grace, beloved, to say what we desire to see and not merely what is happening experientially. I'm about to tell somebody that God is about to change your experience or what you're experiencing or going through. Because you have chosen today that I will believe the word of God. I will stand on what God says even more than what I am seeing in the natural. And so understanding the ways of God, God spoke as though it was already done. Why? Because from God's vantage point, it's done. You see that money that you're believing for to take care of your need that you're still concerned about? From God's vantage point, it's done. You see that situation that currently facing you now? Maybe somebody's sick, maybe something going wrong in the family, and you're concerned, worried about how it's going to be? From God's point of view, it is done. God didn't say, I will make you. He said, I have. It's done deal. But sometimes, God has to let you know what is inside of you so that you can rise up and take. As long as you keep believing that I am weak and that I can't make it, I don't have enough connections. I don't know the right people or the right people don't know me. I was born in a family we did not have. As long as that's where your mind is at, there are things that God had placed in your grasp, but you would not be able to see them. Why? Because if you're going to lay hold of what God is offering, it comes by faith. And you must hear and see it. You must see in the spirit what God is saying. And so you must visualize until you can see what God has said. Until you can visualize it. Until you could see that new house. I mean, you don't see the color. Until you can see yourself in that new place. You're not going to really be able to have it. Until you can see, you, you understand it. When God showed up to Jeremiah, he asked him, what do you see? But you see, that seeing is not just a function of the eyes. Hallelujah. It is the seeing that God is speaking about here is in a quickening, an awakening of your spiritual perceptiveness, your ability to perceive, hallelujah, even the things that are beyond the veil of the natural world. Praise God. God speaks concerning your home, your marriage, your need, as if it's already done. Daniel was waiting three weeks for breakthrough. And an angel of the Lord, this is before the cross. Because after resurrection, you and I have been given more power. Before the cross, Daniel was waiting three weeks in prayer. And when, after three weeks, an angel of the Lord appeared, he told him that from the first day that you set yourself to pray, it was done. It was done from God, as far as God is concerned. When you set yourself to worship God, he rearranges destiny. When you set yourself to pray and seek God. But you see, after that you have prayed, you're working over. In fact, that's where the work start. Because that's where it begins. Because after now that you've prayed and God has rearranged it, you have to seize, lay hold, arrest what you're believing for. Like a police. You got to arrest it. And how you do it, you keep your mind spiritually locked on to what you're believing for. You don't let nothing else that you hear from any other source cause you to waver. Because the Bible says that a double-minded person is unstable, staggering in all of his ways. And it says, let not any such man think that he's going to have anything from God. So your issue oftentimes is not that you don't have faith. You know, you do. You do. But the issue is that somehow mixed in your faith, there is unbelief that is sown into your heart. And I'll take you there in a little bit. So God is never late. And the reason he's never late is because he is able to bring back from, even from the dead. So even if you say, just like Lazarus, that God, why you wait until the thing dead, Death, what is that to God? I speak and it is so. So, you see, death is an issue to you, but it's not an issue to God. So, God is never late. God can bring back, the Bible says in Hebrews that there are people in the scriptures 
who by faith had their dead, women had their dead returned to them because they believed, even beyond the grave. And so you never say to old, it, it can't happen for me anymore. If it would have happened by now, I would have seen it. And because I've not seen it, I've given up. That's the issue. You have given up. You have given up. And you never, you see this race that God has called us to run? You can't be defeated. Listen to me. In this race, you cannot, brethren, as long as you're moving, you may not be moving as fast as somebody else, but as long as you're moving forward, you can never be defeated. When you're defeated is when you choose to give up. And circumstances makes us give up. How? Because circumstances have a voice. And the circumstances can scream loudly to us. You see? You see what they're before you? You can't make it. And then you choose to believe the circumstances. And you give up. In the instant you give up, it's you give up. You can still sing, he never failed me yet. Because it's you give up, it's not he give up. So God is never late. He calls and it comes. Even if they were dead like Lazarus. He says, come forth. He speaks and it becomes. He says it and it is so. Things that are absent, things that are non-existent, appears when God says. You might be a mother believing God for a child. They may say to you that what's going on with your womb, it's not possible. But I am here to say I thank God for doctors. I thank God for scientists. Hello, somebody. I thank God for really smart people. But God is true, and so is his word. It is written, let God be true and every man a liar. And if God says, notwithstanding what the science has said, that I will make you, I have made you, I will lift you up, I urge you today, Dare to believe God. If God said to you that all this COVID and all this stuff going on, I'm going to protect you, I charge you in Jesus' name. Dare to believe God. If God said to you that I am going to make a way for you, believe God. Believe God. Abraham pleased God because he believed that which was spoken.